Hey guys, what is going on? Welcome back to the portfolio. As always, hope you guys had a fantastic day of trading today. Today I thought I would just quickly detail my next swing trade. A lot of you guys were requesting a video of when I first jump into a stock for a swing trade. So I thought I would do one today with the stock you can see up on screen here, Tesla, TSLA, finally decided to jump in to do a swing trade. I've been taking a look at this stock for quite some time. The price point I was looking at to jump in was just under $300. Unfortunately, I kind of missed it right here. I want to dip to $299.26 uh, about 20 days or so ago. Since that time, it really hasn't got back to that price point. So I decided to jump in today with a new price point around $310 or so, looking to make about anywhere from 1% to 5% on the stock. It's going to be a swing trade that I'm going to be holding for maybe a couple weeks or so. Don't want to hold it longer than that. But a running theme I've had in a lot of my swing trading videos is that I only get into stocks I'm more than happy to hold for the longer term. So if I can't get out of a trade, if I can't get out of Tesla, for example, over the next few weeks or so because the price just doesn't rebound or doesn't go the way that I had predicted it that it will, I'm more than happy to hold for the longer term. I only buy stocks day trading and swing trading stocks and I'm more than happy to hold for the longer term. And longer term, I'm talking six months, a year, longer if need be before I get out of a trade. I don't necessarily need to sell on a loss because the stocks I pick for my day in swing trading are stocks that I think are good buy and hold stocks as well. So that's why I've chosen Tesla here. TSLA again is this ticker symbol because I think it's a longer term buy and hold stock, but I had some capital uh, that I wanted to do a swing trade with, so I thought I would jump in. Again, looking for a swing trade. Anything over a percent, I probably will sell off, but really looking more in the 4 to 5% range for Tesla. So you can, as you can see here, definitely trended down a bit, 1.64% over today's day of trading. And over the last month here, you can see that definitely has come back a bit here. At one point, like I detailed, getting under $300, down 10.78% for the month. Over the last year, though, you can see the tremendous performance, 67.98%. And over the last five years here, 873% uh, or so. At one point, it was up over 1,000%. So tremendous growth in this company. It's a newer company uh, making uh, electric vehicles, but it's also kind of diversifying itself into an energy storage business. It also makes home batteries. It also is uh, making uh, solar tiles. Uh, essentially a way of powering its uh, home batteries as well as its vehicles. It's kind of becoming an energy storage business. Uh, it's also, as I detailed on top there, been doing uh, a little bit better over the last week because it just came out with two new products, uh, Tesla Semi as well as a new Roadster, Roadster 2.0. Strong performance in each of those particular products. The Semi will go over 500 miles, can do 0 to 60 Fully loaded, I think, in under 10 seconds, which is, if you think about that, pretty incredible. And the Roadster can go from 0 to 60 in, in under 2 seconds, which no other production vehicle out there can do. So it's definitely putting some products out there. Questionable why they're doing that. A lot of the reading I've done, it's basically an interest-free loan. They put out new products, and then they require that if you want it, to be one of the first ones to receive the product, you have to put in a very very hefty deposit. So it essentially can generate millions of dollars, hundreds of millions of dollars in a credit-free loan to fund its business. And I think that's what it's trying to do with those products. I do think they're viable products. I just think the reason they're doing it now is because the company needs cash. On the bottom here, you can see that the earnings are in the negative because, again, it's putting a lot of money into the infrastructure of the company, growing the company. To do that requires a tremendous amount of capital. It recently sold off a bunch of bonds. It's having to basically raise capital every quarter. So I think this is another way of raising capital and having an interest-free loan. You can see in the middle there the P-E ratio is N-A. The dividend yield is N-A. Newer companies typically don't pay out dividends, and the P-E ratio is negative because the earnings are negative. The P-E ratio is essentially infinity. For every dollar you put into the company, you actually lose money. You don't make money. So the P-E ratio is in the negative. And then when that's that uh, way, it's typically shown as N-A. So I'm jumping into the company because I do believe this is a, a good longer-term play. It's come back quite considerably over the past month here. 
I do believe with these new products, it will gain some momentum here over the next month or so. So I jumped in. You can see the trade on the bottom here. Market buy here. And I did a market buy because I wasn't really concerned if it was up a dollar or down a dollar or so. Uh, with a stock that's $312, it's typically hard to not buy it kind of where it's at on Robinhood, even if it's not updated. Uh, bought 20 shares at $312.47. So you can see there the total equity value. $6,249.40. Again, I'm looking at a price point about, th or, uh, excuse me, $330 or so. But if it hits anywhere above $320, I probably will sell off, whether that's tomorrow, next week, or thereafter. And again, if I can't get out of the trade, I'm more than happy to hold this for the little bit longer term because I do believe it's a great buy and hold stock. So this is a video for the buy here. Tesla again, TSLA jumped in 20 shares, just over $6,200 on a swing trade looking to get at least a percent, but more like four or five percent if I can over the next week, uh, at least a couple weeks here. Uh, optimistically, I'm hoping it rebounds in its price. If it doesn't, I'm more than happy to hold it for the longer term. So that's kind of the strategy here with Tesla. Again, just wanted to put out this video because a lot of you guys were requesting this video and I wanted to jump into a stock today. So I thought I would do it with Tesla. We'll kind of see how this turns out over the next couple weeks here. And if I can't get out of the stock immediately, I will do some update videos kind of detailing what I'm thinking and what my strategy is if it changes over time with Tesla. So again, just wanted to put out a quick video here. Uh, kind of with that, I'll end the video. As always, if you guys enjoy my videos, feel free to like, share, and subscribe. Again, I really appreciate all your comments on the videos, especially comments on swing trading stocks, dividend capture stocks, definitely learning quite a bit on your guys' portfolio. So please keep those coming. Definitely appreciate those and, and really enjoy jumping into new stocks off your guys' suggestions. So again, not to make the video too long, I'll kind of end it here and we'll see you guys next time.